Good morning. Uh, my name is Fatma Caner. Uh, I'm from Turkey too. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for participating in my, in my uh, presentation. Uh, today, uh, I am talking about uh, one of the integrated uh, STEM competencies, STEM teacher competencies, that is called STEM teacher zone of proximal development. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to introduce myself um, for, uh, I have been Scientix ambassador for Turkey since 2016. So I have uh, participated uh, many international and national uh, STEM projects. Uh, also, I am an advisory board member of European Association of STEAM Educators. Uh, we have some uh, STEAM workshops and uh, conferences and activities to do. If you, if you are interested in, you can find more information about the website. And also, I'm a, a physics teacher uh, at British School in Turkey. So uh, besides uh, my academic side, uh, I'm teaching uh, physics and uh, also I'm also a STEM teacher too. Um, today uh, I want to talk about firstly uh, integrated STEM teacher competencies framework uh, I created on my PhD thesis two years ago. Uh, secondly, uh, I am focusing on the STEM teachers and of proximal development. Uh, and uh, then I am trying to uh, explain the components of this uh, competency area. Then uh, I'm really interested in the STEM learning communities and I'm trying to combine all of them, uh, competency and competencies areas and the STEM learning communities. And uh, the final uh, subject is uh, STEM identity and uh, also what STEM uh, teachers uh, should do create a STEM identity and also why is STEM identity is important for the teachers. So, um, as I mentioned before, uh, I'm focusing on the STEM teachers zone of proximal development. Uh, actually, I should briefly mention uh, the theoretical framework of uh, my my uh, framework I created. Uh, as you can see, there are four different uh, competency areas uh, for STEM teachers. These competencies areas as cognitive characteristics, STEM teaching skills, effective motivational characteristics uh, in uh, STEM teaching and STEM teachers on a proximal development. But today uh, I am focusing only STEM teachers on a proximal development. Um, especially there are some uh, studies about uh, STEM uh, teacher competencies, but uh, I try to detail uh, these STEM teacher competencies as uh, competency areas and components uh, and uh, competence items because uh, as I mentioned before, I'm a physics teacher, I'm a, a STEM teacher too. I had many uh, courses so far. So I thought that this part is very important for all STEM teachers. So everything must could be clear. Uh, so every step also uh, could be clear. Uh, in the framework, I prepared uh, cognitive characteristics uh, competency area is uh, based on teachers' knowledge of the STEM disciplines and their ability to make connection between them. And uh, STEM teaching skills include STEM lesson imaging and implementation, uh, effective motivational characteristics in STEM teaching, covers uh, the beliefs, uh, attitudes, and uh, predispositions of STEM teachers about uh, personal motivation. Uh, as you can see, uh, especially the three competency areas uh, interact with uh, STEM teachers and proximal development. So maybe the main question is, what is the STEM teachers and proximal development? I think it's very good uh, ex uh, question for me. Uh, actually, this uh, approach, this uh, approach is an adaptation of the proximal development proposed by Vygotsky to the context of teaching and teacher education. So. Um, it is considered to be a learning area between the current level of teaching knowledge 
uh, consisting of theoretical knowledge, pedagogical knowledge, skills, and the potential level of knowledge to be obtained with the support of others. Uh, so I think it's peer learning. Uh, peer learning is a very important part of for uh, especially students, for us too, for uh, for teachers too. So I think that teachers have a lot, a lot learn from each other. Uh, so uh, I really interested in these parts. Uh, according to do my data collection process, um, I we have we had uh, many steps uh, Delphi tour, but uh, it is only um, related to my PhD thesis part. So I can quickly uh, summarize the data collection with this table. Uh, but I, I I want to say that uh, I'm trying to focus on the the system teacher zone of proximal development and its components and items. Uh, as you can see, there are two uh, different components. The first one is collaboration with colleagues, stakeholders and parents. And the second one is, the, sec uh, the second component is engaging in STEM learning communities. It means that all of these, it means that uh, STEM teacher should receive ideas uh, from other teachers, other disciplines teachers, and exchange their ideas with the others, maybe with parents, maybe sometimes their, uh, their colleagues, and also sometimes, uh, according to the situations, maybe stakeholders. So there must be uh, some maybe the regular meeting with others so they can collaborate uh, together every material every stem lesson plan so um, i'm trying to say that they can receive support easily with each other so um, besides uh, all beside all these uh, stem teachers uh, should engage in stem learning communities uh, i think it is very important and very crucial part uh, to receive inspiration from others, other uh, teachers especially, uh, so they can share their experience, their feeling, their activities uh, sometimes. So teachers benefit from other, uh, other disciplines, experience. I think uh, it's a very good thing uh, for us because uh, I'm a physics teacher, I'm a STEM teacher too, so I'm trying to uh, organize some STEM activity in my school. So all the time, uh, if we have the interaction and um, exchange the ideas with other partners, other colleagues, it's very uh, beneficial for me too. And uh, make may maybe it will be uh, uh, very assertive, but uh, I will want to say that I confess that. Uh, every STEM teacher uh, should be uh, in a, one of the STEM learning community, such as Scientex do. Um, as you know that professional learning communities and STEM are uh, educational buzzwords, uh, and I, we know that they are uh, so important where, when uh, they are together. Uh, furthermore, um, the teacher, STEM teacher learning environment learning communities are important role for expanding this uh, STEM teacher zone of proximal development. Um, it also helps teachers learn from each other. Um, be, I think being in a, uh, one of STEM uh, learning community, uh, we teachers are trying to create um, STEM identity. I think um, it is a very important uh, thing for the everyone STEM teacher. All the time uh, we are trying to uh, do uh, some exercise, some act STEM activities in our learning process, in learning um, situations. So uh, every STEM teacher has one STEM identity. So uh, all the time we are uh, trying to reach uh, our uh, STEM identity development. So, uh, according to me, um, 
there, uh, this is my um, framework about the STEM teacher identity development. According to the literature, uh, there are, of course, there are some um, dimensions uh, for uh, uh, identity development. The first one is, for example, competence. The second one is performance. And the third one is recognition. But uh, according to me and my experience as a being a teacher, as a being a researcher, um, I think growth mindset, being a growth mindset and um, STEM teacher competency development and STEM teachers learning communities are very uh, important uh, point, important issue to reach STEM teacher identity development. Um, so I'm trying to say that teachers, STEM teachers should have uh, integrated STEM teacher competencies. Actually, after my um, research, uh, 14 uh, components uh, and um, 58 competency items we illustrate, uh, we created. So uh, there are many steps. Uh, so we have to some, uh, focus these competencies and um, so we should uh, be ready uh, all the time, be, be, be ready to expand uh, our qualifications with growth mindsets. And uh, STEM teachers should face uh, their deficiencies and strengths because uh, I know that from, uh, from my experiences, uh, especially um, when we had some uh, activities about the, uh, the technology devices all the time um, we had we have we should have a second plan uh, because sometimes we have some difficulties about the technological tools so uh, there are some uh, deficiencies so uh, we have to be all uh, we have we, we have uh, we should uh, face their uh, our uh, deficiencies and go on uh, clearly, I think. So um, I'm trying to say that uh, actually, finally, teachers uh, have a lot to learn from each other. So we can um, focus on our competency, uh, our comp competencies, and also uh, we can try to uh, expand our exp uh, expand our qualifications, our competencies. Um, I think we can um, share our feelings, our activities with other partners, other teachers, and um, we can um, join the STEM learning communities, uh, such as Santix, maybe any other uh, platform, because there are many platforms. Um, so. Uh, I think all of these are more beneficial for each uh, STEM teacher. Thank you.